I wanted to uh, do a video prompted by Ringway Manchester. Um, I'd mentioned to him that I'd uh, done some long range Wi Fi testing years ago, 15 years ago now to be precise. And we did it with this setup you see here. Um, we made our own quad LMBs out of some uh, uh, circuit board and some copper wire. Um, my good friend um, Derek, who's another radio ham, who shall, you shall see in a minute, um, he actually knocked this equipment up for me. And um, we decided to put it to an old sky dish there to get some extra uh, range and obviously some more gain on the unit. Um, the access, the lead, the distance between the lead and the access point was very short, obviously to minimise the losses. The first test that we did was this one here from my house across the other side of town. It was approximately two miles. Um, Derek was from Robot Wars. Hi, I'm Dave. Hi, I'm Ken. I'm Derek, and this is Hypnodic. Um, they appeared on, on the first series, I think, of Robot Wars with their very destructive robot hypno disc. And um, I'd known Derek for a very long time, and um, we were actually working on a project on an electric bike, which is a, another one of my hobbies at the time. And we wanted a way of sending files out to, to his village. This was, um, really, well, none of the villages had broadband. And um, we developed some, some very pokey little electric bikes, and um, we wanted to. Uh, uh, to do that and also Derek wanted faster internet connection <laughs> um, so it, it worked both ways Derek was uh, doing the engineering on the bike and I had the faster inter internet connection we used um, this D-Link D uh, DWL 700 AP which was an access point that could be configured as a, a client or an access point or a repeater so it was quite a flexible unit and we used this uh, later on as a repeater in fact so let's uh, spin the clock back and go back to 2003 we did some reconnaissance work here uh, you'll see uh, as you, trying to get a line of sight view from my house to Derek's house which was about three to four miles line of sight but we quickly found that the, where we were stood here that there were going to be houses built and um, we would have struggled to have get any sort of um, decent communication because you need proper clear line of sight with Wi-Fi you can't go through trees um, so we did a, an out, an out, a test out in the field just to see how successful it was and we did manage to get a ping from notebook to notebook. We set up, um, Derek scouted out the points, so this was pre-Google Earth and pre-maps, this was 2003, so we're using good old fashioned maps and, and telescopes and using the old trick of putting the camera through the, uh, the lens of the binocular there. And um, that really worked well and uh, we managed to, to plot the um, plot the distances between the two and, and do some good tests. The first test worked successfully so we worked on another test here um, where we I think we were roughly going for about a three a three mile test um, from Hempton to Deddington here in Oxfordshire and um, this was a, another successful test and um, there you can see the uh, the line uh, that, we, that we took there again line of sight testing and um, my, my friend Derek who's a radio ham and Lloyd here they are setting the equipment up uh, near a woods called New Bottle Woods, uh, which is just the other side of King Sutton. And um, we had all the equipment set up there for a good test. Now, to test this, we, we did run a ping, but we also wanted to test the bandwidth and having a real meaningful way of that. We would just play videos off of each other's machines. And while we were there, we spotted the, um, the, the telephone transmitter out there at Char Welton, which was 16 miles away. And we thought we eyed that up as a potential site that we could use for some testing, which you'll see a bit later on, because um, it was a, such a good distance away. Um, this, this transmitter is um, a TV relay transmitter that was built in the, in the 60s and used to relay television signals from London to Birmingham. Uh, but it's very, very high. I mean, I think the actual ground is 732 foot above sea level, and then the tower is another 387 foot tall. It's solid concrete, so <laughs> it's quite a good location. There you can see we had uh, some pings going on the screen of the laptop there, and we was using the uh, Yaesu FT23R handheld there, no Baofeng back in, the, in those days. And I had a, uh, an old sky dish with a, a, a wood clamp there and uh, a very sort of... Uh, a very sort of um i don't know rough setup but it did work it worked really well derek derek had a much bigger dish he had the original sky dish which some of you might remember which you don't see so many of now and in fact when we completed the project he actually had that up on a very tall pole on the side of his house and you can see he's got his access point in a box fitted to the back as well to reduce the losses between the lmb because at that frequency at 2.4 gigahertz you want to keep them leads as short as possible and then we just run power and data from the access point back down to the laptop um, 
So yeah, this was the second test, and again, um, by the time we, we do these things in the winter, I don't know why Radio Ham's waiting until the winter to do this, but my location was off there in the distance, about uh, three miles away, out near Dennington, and um, uh, I was still having the guy set up at this end, um, just, to, just to see if we could get a line of sight. We picked a, a point on the horizon that we could uh, zoom in with the binoculars, and Derek had a spotting scope, and then I, I drove out there once we got set up, and uh yeah and there we are with old good old-fashioned maps and uh they do work uh, um, the maps really 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 work i mean i, I never read a map i don't think before, <laughs> before i did this project and uh yeah it was getting dark as you can see there and um we uh i got them to turn the lights on the car and i tried to zoom in uh, to see if i could see them just to get the the dish uh pinpoint and accurate when I was doing these tests, I did have the police stop actually. In fact, every time they, there you go, you can see the uh, see the headlights on the car from three miles away. So and we were in radio communication at this point. So uh, that test worked. We I remember it working quite well. We had we managed to play the video okay. I think we were probably getting one to two megabit per second, which uh, is not too shoddy on standard. This is all standard off the shelf, not tweaked or modified. All the hardware all of the the access point was all absolutely bog standard the manufacturer never quoted the output and yeah i just put this in because i actually found a wireless printer and um i actually printed this on someone's printer uh your wireless network is not secure because um i found loads of of, of open access points and um that was quite fun i actually connect, connected up to their printer when we were doing the testing and printed that off so there you go you can see the old gps that's a very old unit there and uh, the FT23R, um, which still works, by the way. Um, and we did a test. This was one of the third tests we did in the car, and it was raining. Now, um, we did find the link wasn't quite as successful with moisture in the air. Anyone that's done any kind of microwave testing will know that. Um, there's the, the dealing cap, which we used. And we had a power on, a WLAN, and a LAN light on the front. When we got all three lights on, we knew we were good. Um, so particularly the uh, the uh, the W LAN light, the Wi-Fi LAN light. And there's my old, uh, very old car. Um, so this test actually on a wet and dreary Sunday uh, in late 2003 wasn't that successful. I don't think we actually got it to work. Um, but we did go back and we did try again because we were very persistent because uh, Derek definitely wanted this connection. So this was the, the final test that we did between Hempton, between that location and the Charwelton um, TV transmitter which is 16 miles away um, Hempton is at 486 foot above sea level and Derek was off in his car in the distance there just past the orange sort of glow you see in the background and um, uh, you can see I, I was amazed the first time we tried it all three lights on so we got a connection straight away and um, that's 16 miles with just standard kit and my access point there just just taped up to the tripod uh all the light i think the light is the light on there i can't tell no perhaps we lost the signal but yeah we started and uh and you know it's as soon as we got a, a connection there was very little video of this unfortunately uh the camera that i had back then bear in mind it was 15 years ago was a canon g2 and um it had very limited video capability so i have got some video which i will play for you um but you will have to uh obviously bear in mind <laughs> how far, how long ago it was and the quality is not going to uh, be too great but it gives you an idea of, of of what we did and i was really really proud that this worked so well um because you know not so many people were doing this back then and um we weren't using uh, any antennas you could buy we were just it was all home brewed stuff so here's a little bit of video of how we got on during the uh, experiment This was uh, just, a, I think, a friend's wedding video uh, that played, seemed to play okay. And uh, hey, this is quick, believe it or not. <laughs> There's me. And Derek's 26 kilometers away. 26 kilometers. You can see the three lights flashing away in the top right. That's the, uh, the box outside and the dish. And that's the video off of Derek's machine. Which, to be honest, it actually breaks up like that when we're right next to each other. So mm -hmm. that's, that's actually playing off. There you go, it's flashing there. I'll turn them up all together actually, that might be better, mightn't it? Uh, keep flashing, yeah, flash, flash, keep going. He's flashing his lights or I think I've got, I can pick you up. I'm just about to see him. There you go, you can see in the middle the flashing, single light flashing, that's 16 miles. That's not bad, is it? Very poor. If you remember, there's a, a very bright light twinkling and Derek's flashing to the right of that. 
I'm, so, I'm talking to the camera just so I can remind myself. Right, yeah, right, yeah. Derek is the bunch of lights. There's the dark bit in the middle, there's a cluster, then it moves right, and there's another cluster, and Derek's just up and to the right of that. Okay, yeah, it's my end. Yeah, you yeah. can hear him saying, I've dropped that picture, he's dropping files. Um, just testing the link out. There we go, there's the silver chair video. This was a video that we played regularly. Have to be careful with this, I don't want really to get a strike. But it was just a good... You drop those videos in there, can you do that or not? Or uh, haven't you got your reader? No, I've not got the reader down, I'm just recording the uh, streaming a little bit with the camera. So that video is being played from Derek's laptop over the link. Okay. Yeah, silver chair. Still got the video. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to get a strike over, be careful uh, playing that. So we wind the clock forward a bit, about four months. And we went, what we did was, we want to share my internet connection. So Lloyd kindly agreed to be a midway man. So he was the repeater station. So we got our friend who's a local TV antenna installer to put up a, a tiny little um, microwave antenna. And I beamed the signal from my house to Lloyd's and Lloyd then beamed the signal three to four miles away. To the village where Derek lived, so um, so he, look, Derek didn't actually use Lloyd's internet connection. It bounced from Lloyd to my house, which is about another mile away, and and so basically Lloyd was just acting as a repeater station, and this really worked really really well for about a year. We had this running. Now you can see the little antenna. We had it running great, and then after a while, it just got worse, and then it eventually stopped. And we're not sure why. There's there's the link look. So from my house to Lloyd's and then out four kilometers up there to Derek's house. And uh, but anyway, it was great while it lasted. And I think Derek got typically one to two megabit per second or so uh, with the link. And uh, it really did work well. There, there's the uh, the unit on my house. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. I certainly have enjoyed making it. And uh, it's one of them things I've, I've really I really enjoyed doing. Uh, if you have been, thanks for watching.